I recently came across a problem with a uh, high-resolution security dome camera. After a few minutes of powering it up, the uh, video would go out of sync, starting with a flicker on the top portion of the screen and eventually leading to a complete loss of horizontal sync in the video. So this is the initial pulsation and as you can see as it progresses the horizontal sync is completely lost. Now you can see that the video is still there it's just that the synch synchronization of this camera is just completely thrown off. So I decided to uh, go in and investigate further. It's an SMD uh, board, and the parts are the components are really compacted together. So it was going to be quite a bit of a challenge, and I'll show you what I found. So I've taken apart the um, dome camera, and what you see here is the uh, the CCD with the circuit board. Um, this is a double-sided board, and the um, LSIs, or large-scale integrated circuits, are underneath. And on top here, um, this one in particular, is a dual op amp that has to do with the secondary portion of the power supply. Initially, after... Um, poking around blindly. I don't have the schematic for this so I decided to take some waveforms and um, came to the conclusion that it was going to be meaningless without the schematic. So I I did without the um, the, the waveform uh, troubleshooting and uh, decided to go with <clears throat> uh, taking voltages and I noticed that um, voltages on this chip would um, would fluctuate as the uh, uh, loss of sync would start happening and I also went as far as doing a freeze spray on the components but found out that um, you know in this particular instance and the limitation for freeze spraying is very obvious because the components are in very close proximity to each other so you freeze spray one and chances are you're gonna freeze spray the other ones too so you're not gonna really pinpoint uh, which one is is which component is uh, causing the problem? So I went ahead and ordered this uh, eight-pin chip. It's an L. Uh, it's a BA1058 uh, dual op amp, and replaced it. Now after replacing, I fired it up and um, watched uh, watched the video for uh, for a few minutes, and the same problem was there. Um, it was still flickering after a few minutes of powering up. When when the when the circuit started to warm up, it would flicker, and then uh, eventually it would go uh, lose horizontal sync completely. Um, so I decided to continue poking around and what I did was um, I tried to see if I could be more um, restrictive with the free spray and so what I did was uh, this is my free spray can and that's the straw. I connected a drink a portion of a drinking straw on the other end and that way I can actually cap um, the a specific component of interest and, and actually just freeze that particular component and so eventually I narrowed it down to two tantalum capacitors these two here this is a 4.7 microfarad and that's a 3.3 .3 microfarad um, this one was of particular interest because this one um, gave the most uh, improvement when it was uh, free sprayed. So um, I decided to remove it. I have it installed, I had reinstalled it right now just for the purposes of this video and just to make sure that I'm able to uh, replicate the original problem. So after removing that, um, that 4.7 microfarad capacitor I power up the circuit and I have had the video camera running for well over um, 12 hours and it has not exhibited the same 
problem that I've seen consistently over um, the past several days in, in trying to troubleshoot the circuits. This brought me back to a video that I saw from another uh, YouTuber, W2AEW, where he had a problem with his uh, function generator. Uh, it was exhibiting uh, spurious uh, oscillations on his waveform, um, and he traced it down to a capacitor that came installed from the factory. The capacitor was tested good in and out of circuit. Um, a known good capacitor was also put in its place and it, it exhibited the same problem. Um, he came to the conclusion, and I would agree, that uh, something in one of the integrated circuits of that circuit, as well as um, this circuit that, that I'm working on right now with this video camera, some characteristic in the integrated circuit, the innards of it, has changed, which now um, causes it to to exhibit um, oscillations and, and, and in this case uh, loss of sync um, as a result of the existence of that uh, capacitor. What I have decided to do is to leave this uh, tantalum capacitor off, uh, this 4.7 microfarad off and have it running for the next uh, several months and uh, if I get to see problems again I will post another video if not then rest assured you know that the problem has not um, uh, come back so it makes me wonder how many more of these uh, high-end video cameras out there have this particular problem. Uh, these cameras uh, are by no means cheap, so which is the reason why I decided to spend some time um, fixing it. So this is now with the uh, circuit uh, with the capacitor removed, the 4.7 microfarad removed, and I got this thing powered up and I'll show you the, uh, the working video which has been on for um, uh, well over 12 hours now. Um, as a footnote also the capacitor has been tested in and out of circuit with my um, reliable capacitance tester and both DCR and the ESR test good on it so there's nothing wrong with the capacitor, something um, inherent in this, uh, in this circuit. Um, possibly the uh, LSI chip um, on the other side of this board has changed, uh, which no longer requires that capacitor to be uh, installed. So the camera has been on now for well over 12 hours and the problem has not re-exhibited itself. And, uh, we'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks and months. I'm going to be installing that dome camera outside the house. If the problem re-exhibits itself I will post another video if not then it's it and that's that thanks for watching